Hi YouTube, how are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome back to another Guess the Ghost Challenge for you, the viewer. This is going to be a fun way to either learn the game if you're new or to test your knowledge if you're not new. I hope you enjoy this video, but if you are new, I've made this entire YouTube challenge just for you. I've got a whole list of beginners guides that will teach you how to play Phasmophobia in the most simple way possible. So subscribe for that and also make sure you follow me on Twitch where I do this live six days a week. Also join up with the Discord. We have brand new players, super experienced players like myself. We're super welcoming to all levels and experience levels and it's a great place to either learn the game or make friends to play with outside the public lobbies we hope to see you meet you over there that'd be amazing now here's the video good luck guessing and no cheating let's go baby welcome back to the guess the ghost challenge for you the viewer where i just take you through the match and point out things that are important to know but i don't tell you what they actually mean or what ghosts they could be implicating until we reveal the correct ghost at the very end and i explain everything for you so it's a fun way to learn if you're new fun way to test your knowledge if you're not new and we are on nightmare mode so we'll get two pieces of evidence here nightmare mode blocks the third we'll have a handful of ghost options at the end to choose from and that's when everyone will make their guess on the screen. If you're watching on YouTube, put your guess in the comments. No cheating. Let's get started. We got Lisa Taylor, Ghost Event Salt Motion Sensor. Let's go, Lisa Taylor. FBI, open up. No tarot card says. Lisa Taylor, give us a sign. Lisa Taylor. Hello? Hey, it's a Ouija board. Where are you? L? Living room. No. LLV. Oh. What? Goodbye. Did I just do a double? Did I just take like all my sanity down there? You have two, by the way. Did I ask two questions there? Oh crap! I did. It's not a hiding spot, bro. Did you see that? But did I ask a second question there? Or did the Ouija board just double take me? Or was that just one? And is this an early hunting ghost? That was super buggy. We'll find out when we go take sanity pills. They redeemed 20% sanity on Nightmare Mode, so we'll see how many we can take. The ghosts sound fast. Welcome back, CJ, baby. No, that was a double. It took the Ouija board took double sanity from us there. Double sanity. Are you kidding me? Because we can take normally. Oh my god. So it could be any ghost in the game. Bro. That's garbage. But now we know what's in the living room. Freezing. We got freezing. Get that bone and breaker. This is exactly where the bone was on my last pillow match. Same bone and everything. How much sanity does it normally take? What, 40? 40%? Something like that. Too many numbers in my in my mind. Sanity is overrated anyway, yes. All right, let's get started. We have freezing, we see one more evidence. Hello, it's a manifestation. An EMF four, cool. Is Phasma 10 out of 10 for me in terms of what? I mean, there's things the game could definitely do better, but I've never played a game uh, that only cost 14 bucks for this many hours. 
So. That's cool. Let's go with Dodge Spell. Like, overall, it's it's close. I'd say it's like, I don't know, it depends on... I'd have to rate a bunch of other games to rate this game, too. I can't just rate one in a vacuum like that. Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? I will say it's a very good game. It's a very fun game if you're into this kind of stuff, for sure. All right, here we go. Video cam. UV light. We can't be affording to get those ghost events to take our sanity when we don't have any sanity pills left. This is against the clock. Okay, we still got freezing. Where are you? Oh yeah? Do you want to clap my cheeks? Do you want to clap my cheeks? I'm glad I just got some bush merch. Now I know what I can wear to my Halloween party. <laughs> Let's go, what'd you get? Do you want to clap my cheeks? Do you want me to clap your cheeks? Do you want me to clap your cheeks? ARE YOU GONNA LET ME CLAP THE CHEEKS?! They would've responded to that. Are you gonna let me clap them cheeks? Are you gonna let me clap them cheeks? Are you gonna let me clap them cheeks? Does it still exist? Yeah, you have to use the Windows voice activation for it to work. Do you want to touch my PP? Where are you? If you get the black X there to light up, that means it accepted the question. It just, it's, the ghost isn't answering. Where are you? How old are you? So we have a spirit box and freezing. So we have Maroy, Onryo, Twins, and Mimic. Roy, Onryo, Twins, and Mimic. Let's go. Um, let's get a smudge in there. Let's get some salt in there. Is the ghost single? I'll ask you. I'll ask you, Mr. Ghosty. Are you single? Are you a single undead jerk? Do you have 15 X's? Dicks! <laughs> A ghost to kill the breaker. We got a missing ghost ball. Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Oh no. I can't see. Run, Bush. I'm getting clapped. I'm getting clapped right here. Sounds like average speed. How do you run through them like that and not die? You have to light the smudge stick when they're within a few meters of you and you get six seconds where they can't see you. Do you want to clap my cheeks? <laughs> well! <laughs> Jeez.
Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? See, we're getting the response. It will respond uh, as long as we get the actual, you know, it's not the question that's wrong here. It's just sometimes the goose doesn't respond. Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? Do you... Do you subscribe to OnlyFans? Are you on Demon Mingle? Where are you? Ghosty doesn't like talking in the spirit box. He's not enjoying it. Hello, there you are! Come here! Are you single? <laughs> okay, it, it said attack. It said attack. That's a little too aggressive. A little too aggressive. Restraining order. By the way, we're testing from Roy Onrio Twins Mimic. Here's an idea. Well, we need to get another hunt first. In the meantime, I'll start bringing in some candles. I am sus, welcome in. What's the cursed object? We had a Ouija board. And it screwed us with sanity in the beginning. It was just bugged. If it accepts the question but doesn't answer as a spirit box, I know you have to get an answer. You have a chance to get an answer if you're in the ghost room or within a couple meters of the ghost outside of the ghost room. There's a chance. You have to keep asking. Um, let's go. Okay, so we have the smudge. Let's see. Let's see some magic here. Okay, we're just gonna get hunted like that from outside the ghost room. That's cool. That's not good for this test at all. No scope! I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna pay for that. Said, let's not check the hiding spot. I'm hungry. Hello? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what is happening in this place? Did we just start a hype train from that? It's like a diarrhea train. What's going on here? Girl, look at that body. Is this still freezing in here, though? Or did the freezing move to out here? Why do you keep turning my lights off? It's freezing out here now. Great. Great. Is it freezing back in here now? No, it's, it's gotta be out here. It is out here.
bell. There we go. Alright, so we're paying attention to these candles in the freezing ghost room. This one's already out. Hi, Jen Leaves. I keep lighting these candles. Oh, blew both of them out. What? Okay. If you want to know why I keep lighting the candles, I'll let you know at the end of the match. Also, no orbs. No orbs. So it's blowing the candles out pretty quickly. Blowing them out pretty quickly, fam. Hello! <gasps> Dear Lord. Oh my god. So many ghost events. Okay, ghost blew out the candle. Our sanity is pretty low now. For sure, like we're almost at zero. Wow. Ghost tried to throw that painting on my head. So this is going to be an important candle trick you could use to your advantage, for sure. I'll explain it after the match. A ride with the gift sub. Thank you so much. Let's go. We're we still freezing in here. Yep. All right, go split the candle. Interesting, right? Go split out the candle. Notice how the crucifixes are still intact. Why isn't the ghost trying to hunt? We have probably zero sanity by now. Multiple ghost events. Uh, you know, we're down to 80% from the jump, pretty much. Interesting, right? I mean, the ghost will throw a picture frame at me, but it will not hunt. And if it does hunt, it'll be, like, over here by the camera, maybe? Or outside the ghost room. Pretty sure. Excuse me? Let me guess, you expect me to clean that up, don't you? You are the rudest ghost ever. Go to your room. Yo, dark, darkest kitten. Oh my god, I blew both of them out. Dear lord, darkest kitten. Thank you for the cheer one sub. That means the world. Let's go. I appreciate you. Hello! This ghost is so frustrated. Have we seen enough to guess chat? Let's just keep it going. Now I wanna show you, let's just prove a point here. Let's just prove a point. If I put the candles back here. Will we get crucifix burn? Look at that, crucifix burned up as soon as I remove the candle, you see that? Interesting, right? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to let everyone put their guess on the screen. 
of what ghost you think this is. Wow, shocking news. This ghost was actually a yokai Andre. Oh, it was an Adrio. I don't know why I clicked on the screen. It was an Adrio. But. But. That was actually. That was pretty simple. Um, once you have the knowledge of the ghost, that was pretty simple, right? Because uh, we had speed. Speed was average. And Maroi, uh, when your sanity gets low. And we had pretty low sanity. We had a hunt or two where it was pretty low sanity there. They're faster than average. They actually turn into the fastest ghost in the game in the right context when they're chasing you uh, for long periods of time. For an extended period of time. And you're at 0% sanity. A uh, Maroi is actually faster than a Rev at that point. It can accelerate up there. Now, we knew it wasn't twins because twins, one twin is either faster than average by 10% or slower than average by 10%. So we knew it was an average speed ghost, which would have led us with either a Mimic or an Onryo. The Mimic was guaranteed to have orbs. We didn't see orbs, so it was pretty much going to be an Onryo at that point. But what I showed you at the end there was the Onryo test. Now, a lot of people explain this in a completely confusing way. Uh, let me let me break it down. Aspen, thank you for the two months. Let me make this as simple as possible for the Onryo test. The Onryo has a chance to blow out a candle, right? And then hunt immediately up to like 100% sanity. So that's the Onryo's special ability if there's just one candle. Okay. Um, also, when you're in multiplayer, when teammates die, uh, every time it blows out a candle, it's got an increased chance based on how many teammates are dead to hunt as it blows out the candle uh, at high sanity. So um, keep that in mind. The Onryo is more lethal on multiplayer with the candle blowout trick. But when the Onryo tries to hunt, when you have a situation like that, it's going to use the candle instead of the crucifix, as long as you're in the same location. The candle acts as a crucifix and gets blown out to block the hunt. Okay? And the candle has a range of 4 meters, where the crucifix has a range of 3 meters in, like, a radius. So, you place the candle basically on the crucifix, and every single time the ghost tries to hunt and it's on rail, it will forego using the crucifix to blow out the candle. That's why we didn't get the crucifixes burning up until I moved the candles. I moved the candles and you saw the crucifix burn up, and... You know, Onryo. But I already knew it was an Onryo at that point, but uh, there's the Onryo test in action, and that was actually a pretty good example of it working properly, and then showing what happens when you remove the candles, how it instantly burn up the crucifix. Also, Onryos are more likely to blow out candles in general, so when you have a situation like that, it can be like hot potato trying to keep the candles lit. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed our Onryo test, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for playing.